So Matt, you'll be joining me. Uh, I'll have the pleasure of having you uh, here in Kentucky. I believe you're staying in the guest bedroom. We're going to go to the Bluegrass Stakes at beautiful Keeneland. Opening day is Friday. We're both excited about that. The weather looks a little iffy, I'm afraid to say, Matt, but the Bluegrass and the uh, Cardiff Stakes we're going to see this weekend. There's no uh, iffiness about that. The Bluegrass looks like a nice field. The horse I'm most interested, in, honestly, about is the uh, two-year-old champion. Good magic. Uh, Fountain of Youth was not great. He was third that day. But I think he can bounce back for Chad Brown. And he'll face a full field and uh, a bunch of intriguing horses here in the Bluegrass Stakes. Yeah. Hey, Brian, I'm excited to be uh, going to Keenan with you. Uh, never been to the Bluegrass Stakes. We got a full field of 14 expected. A lot of interesting horses in there. Um, Going to be a great day. Um, yeah, good magic coming back. 34 points, probably in the field already. Uh, um, Fountain of Youth third, probably Gulfstream is maybe not the best kind of uh, track for him. I must admit, though, Brian, I'm a little less enthusiastic about Good Magic when I heard Chad Brown talking about the fact that um, Good Magic has had some foot issues. I never like to hear about horses running at this top level that have foot issues. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of performance we get from the two-year-old champion. I'm expecting a good performance from him. If he runs, I'm expecting a good performance from him at Keeneland. Uh, I think this will be a bounce back. Then we'll see about the Kentucky Derby. We'll see about his uh, 100% uh, feeling good uh, at Churchill Downs for the big test. Uh, the others, uh, you know, Quip, uh, Quip popped up with his uh, first race of his three-year-old season uh, with a nice win, uh, held off flame away, and both of those horses Top two from the Tampa Bay Derby are coming back. Hard to say anything bad about Flame Away. It does nothing but run good races. So Quip and Flame Away will be back. Flame Away's one at Keeneland, by the way. Uh, there's some other in interesting horses in here. Free Drop Billy, speaking of one at Keeneland, uh, deserves another shot. He's a great one winner at Keeneland, having won the Breeders Futurity here last fall. Sporting Chance. I'm not, I'm not giving up on Sporting Chance. He didn't really get it done in two races in Arkansas, but they weren't bad performances maybe uh maybe the bluegrass of uh of keeneland and kentucky will wake sporting chance up i still think there's something under the hood there matt uh maybe machismo the the, the luch runner he, he seems to have some talent uh kantaka i'm not sure if kantaka will be here or not but if he is for west point uh, i have a feeling he will be um he adds another level of interest so it's a it's kind of an interesting field. Even if you do like the favorite, I don't think Good, Mag Good Magic gets pounded at the windows on Saturday. And there's probably some horses with odds you can play with him. And that's what I'll be doing. Maybe uh, maybe a nice old Good Magic sporting chance exacta for me, man. Yeah, sporting chance. Uh, if anything, for sure, uh, uh, the coach, D. Wayne Lucas, is persistent and and – he kind of drew a line through that Rebel performance, and, and hopefully we'll see better in there. I'm a little intrigued about Free Drop Billy. Uh, um, people have, you know, I think forgotten about him. He, hey, he was third in the Gotham, second in the Holy Bull. Those are not races to uh, that are embarrassing by any means. And he ran big at Keeneland last year in the Breeders' Futurity. And, and Dale Romans is always dangerous. Uh, um, you know, I... I I think some decent odds might be there. I, I'd like Free Drop Billy in here a little bit. Quip also won an allowance race at Keenan last year. So um, uh, a really a talented field and a lot of horses that have a good shot. Yes, and, and it'll be interesting to see what the pace is like. I, I imagine Machismo will show a, a great deal more pace than he showed last time when he was unexpectedly rallying down at Gulfstream Park. Uh and, and Quip, Quip, you know, Flame Away could show speed, but but Quip did show speed uh, down at Tampa Bay. Uh, so uh, if Quip is on the lead and he moves forward at, at all off that performance in the Tampa Bay Derby, he becomes a big threat. I I just I want to see the good good magic on that. Yeah, I agree with that, Brian. You know, I've been a fan of Good Magic, uh, and I hope he comes back and runs big. Uh, it just adds an another level to what you were saying about 
this Kentucky Derby field turning into uh, um, a really, really nice collection of horses.